Well, hello everyone. It's Carrie from sunshineinmypocket.com. I'm back here with a meowy Christmas card. This time I have a polka dotted kitty cat to share with you and some touches of gold. I'm starting out with this set that's brand new. It's called Cozy Kitties and it is so cute. It has all of these things to build up a scene. I also thought I might bring in this Fireside Dream set. It's got these presents in it a great fireplace and a couple of dogs, but I ended up not bringing that in today for this one. I'm gonna start out with this Highlander stencil. I love a plaid background on a card, especially at this time of year. I'm just going to tack that down with my Make Art Station and then ink blend on some Evergreen Bow ink. This is a nice, light, soft green, which is gonna be perfect for our background and not too busy. After I ink that up, I'm going to show you what this looks like. I think this plaid is such a beautiful plaid. Look at that. And now it's time to add some gold elements. So I'm just taking my ruler and I have a liquid gold pen. You could also use a gel pen if you have a gold pen. You could do touches of silver as well, but I just love the gold. And I'm following along one of the lines of the plaid and adding a gold stripe. And I'm gonna do that both directions. You can see there's two larger white stripes and I'm adding it on the white stripe to the right. I don't know if that makes sense to you, but I'm basically just following along the pattern to add this gold in. And there's our background with a little touch of gold. I think it's so pretty. And look at that, nice and subtle. So we're gonna build our scene on this background here. And I'm going to cut that out first with the deckled paper die set. I'm using the largest one, but this deckled edge is really beautiful. It's subtle, but it allows you to have a background as well. And I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do with that. So I've got the Heffy Doodle Basics Christmas paper pack here and there's a lot of beautiful papers. I'm going to use the one that is the red with the stripes to cut out the Merry Christmas die, and then I'll cut the background out with some gold mirror cardstock. This is what we're gonna build our sentiment on, but first I want to build that Merry Christmas up on some white cardstock. That's gonna give it more dimension and also help to set it apart from that gold background. I've cut out a couple extra Merry Christmas sentiments with white cardstock and now I'm just building those up. And when I put the red striped paper on, I will offset that just a little to have the white as a shadow. So there, it just really sets that off from the gold background. I think it adds a lot. You could do a different color if you wanted. I think the white shadow looks really pretty for this Christmas card. I'm just using a little liquid adhesive. It's pretty simple to do, and this almost comes as one piece, but Christmas, you can see, is two pieces there. Super simple to put together, and so I'll glue that together, but I also need to color up the rest of my images. For the little rug that the kitty is going to be laying on, I wanna do a Christmas rug, so I'm gonna color it in red, and then the outline around the entire rug, I'll co color in green. So we've got a cute little Christmas rug and that red rug really plays well with the red Merry Christmas. You can see I also colored a Santa hat for that kitty. That comes in the stamp set as well. So awesome. So now I'll go ahead and put that rug under and just make sure this is all gonna work together really well here. I'll glue that Santa hat right on top of the kitty before we adhere it to the card. And then I'll glue the kitty right to the rug as well. This is gonna make it a little bit easier to add all the elements to the card when it gets to be that time. For the little plant and plant stand, I thought I'd glue that to the front there, but then I decided the plant should be glued behind the stand because I think it looks a little sharper that way, a little cleaner. So I'm gonna do that, and then I'll take the fish and glue that right onto the speech bubble. I love, 
that this cat is thinking of fish. Of course, his favorite thing, right? So now it's time to glue the sentiment all together. Again, I'm using liquid adhesive. However, be very careful if you're using mirrored cardstock and liquid adhesive. It tends to slip and slide just a little bit, and you definitely don't want a bunch of glue showing through on your mirrored cardstock. There's a little heart here in the die set for the dot on the eye, so super cute. So I'll add that there. And then I just want to add a sub sentiment from this same set. It says you are in my thoughts and it's going to fit really perfectly right there in between the gold plaid that we added. I'm just going to use some black VersaFine Onyx black ink to stamp that down and I'll stamp it a couple of times to get a nice dark impression. So this is a perfect card to send to someone that you might not be seeing for Christmas. Let them know that you're thinking about them. Now, since I used my VersaFine Onyx black ink, that does stay wet just a little bit longer. So I'm gonna clear heat emboss that, and that will lock in that ink so it won't smear, and it will also add a beautiful embossed touch with a little bit of glimmer to that. I will take the rest of this paper that we used to cut out the Merry Christmas and I'll cut that down to be four and a quarter by five and a, and a half and that will go right behind our deckled paper die. So we're going to have the stripes on the background around the edge. We're going to have the stripes on the Merry Christmas and the red will just continue to flow through as well as the gold. So that'll be perfect. So let's put this together. I'll glue the, the deckled edge cardstock to that striped paper. And now I'll add all of the elements and I'm just gonna glue each of those things down with liquid adhesive. That will make this card super simple to mail, pretty flat except for this sentiment, which I have raised up just a little bit. But we'll glue that right there just like so, and then add the plant and the plant stand right there. The little cat with the rug and the little speech bubble with the fish in it. So you can see this is a very simple card to put together. These images make it super cute and the touches of gold dress it up just a little bit for Christmas along with that plaid background. So I'll just add this to our card base, which is 110 pound card stock. That'll make it nice and sturdy. And there we go. Just add that just like so. Here's a closer look at our finished card. Take a look at how that gold catches the light on the background of the Merry Christmas and also the stripes on the plaid background with that gold pen so fun to add some gold touches to your Christmas cards. And I love a little kitty thought. <laughs> I don't know about you. Thank you for stopping by today. Here's a few videos you might be interested in. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel. I'll be back real soon with more inspiration. We'll see you then. Bye-bye.